Previously and everywhere together. We visited the Karijini National Park and drove up to WA's highest point, the summit of Mount Mihari. On our way to Broome, we just stopped at um, Portsmouth. Portsmouth Lagoon, yeah. uh, which was recommended uh, to us uh, by someone living in Broome. So, thanks for that, Lutzi. And um, it's a nice beach, nice lagoon. But in low tide, it's a bit empty, so... Yeah, not too much water here. No. But still, it's a good spot to, to chill out for a couple of hours. And have a breakfast. And have a breakfast. We are at the rock formations of Barn Hill. It's about a 50 minute walk from the caravan park. And uh, they look quite amazing. The only thing is though, um, the tide is coming up. They told us it's gonna be a quite high tide today. So we will need to get back if we don't want to swim. <laughs> We arrived at Broome a couple of days ago and we just came down to Town Beach to look at how the tide changes. Um, here it can be as big as 10 meters in difference, so in one hour it can come up like a couple of meters and that's really really quick. And we also had a little fish and chips from Maca's Takeaway, which is the local best place I guess for takeaway. And we visited the market, the weekend market, and it's a really, really lovely town. So we are enjoying a couple of uh, days here in Broome, probably even a week, to just slow down a bit, rest a little before continuing our trip uh, to the Kimberleys and yeah, the Dampier Peninsula next. Just arriving to some pictures cinema, which is the oldest operating outdoor cinema. Oh, there's a nice little. Hey, so we spent a couple of days in Broome and tonight it's Thursday so we are going to check out the evening market and have a burger there and um, yeah, listen to some live music potentially.
And since we were in Broome already, we waited to see the staircase of the moon when the full moon creates a golden staircase effect on the water. One of the things that Broome is famous for is its uh, pearls. So just behind the main street, there is a street called Dampier Terrace, and it's full of uh, pearl shops. So these pearls are quite um, precious and uh, unique and really, really um, famous. Uh, so if you hear about Australian pearls, they are mostly from here. If you come to Broome and interested in pearls, recommend you to check out the Paspoli shop. There you can watch a one hour long video about uh, pearl um, farming. And you should also check out the Signet Bay shop because they have a half an hour um, intro to, uh, to pearls and uh, pearl appreciation and understanding differences between different pearls. Do you want to check out the ship? After spending like 10 days here in Broome, we finally ready to hit the road and go to Derby and explore the rest of uh, Kimberley. And uh, yeah, Sandra was working a little bit, we changed the tires, had a big service on the car, and then uh, 40,000 Ks. And uh, there's a car coming, we kind of here now. We just arrived at uh, Beagle Bay and this little church is quite special. Um, once we get inside, you will see why. From Broome, we drove up to Cape Lavac, where we visited the Signet Bay Pearl Farm. Here, we learned about the history of the Australian pearl and how they farmed the pearls. We also saw how you can find a pearl in a shell and then how those pearls are getting rated in different systems to then be resold to jewelry makers or be put in jewelry.
We are in Derby now and uh, just waiting for the library to open. But before that, uh, just wanted to tell you guys that the plan is for the future. So after a couple of days here, we are uh, heading to Fitzroy Crossing and then uh, um, just drive through the Gibb and explore that area. After the Gibb River Road and the uh, Kimberley, we are heading to Darwin, where we are planning to finish our uh, trip. We probably spend uh, a few days, maybe a week there and then uh, hit the road and um, go all the way to Sydney where we'll pick up our uh, suitcases and uh, head up to Brisbane where we are planning to settle or maybe Gold Coast. So for that trip from the Darwin to Sydney trip we kind of know an overall uh, way to go but if you guys uh, do live in the outback and you think that your town or your place is uh, on our way Please uh, put a comment below. We would love to meet you guys on our way if you are keen to meet us as well. And if you don't live on the road, but you know a spot that's worth uh, hitting while we are doing that trip, please let us know again down in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll put yeah. a map uh, with, the, with the planned route uh, in the descriptions below and uh, make sure to check it out. Hey guys, hope you like this episode. If yes, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and see you next week. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next week.